Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Heather, and if you tuned in a couple episodes ago, you saw when I went through everything that I keep in each of these drawers, and I mentioned that I was going to also show you the rest of the bulk of my storage, which is what I'm going to do today. Um, that's what's under my bed, which is a Coleman camp cot. It is 30 inches wide by 80 inches long. So it is a bit larger than the standard camp cot size. That was unintentional at the time, but it did turn out to be a good thing for storage. And I actually extended that space even further, about a foot or so, which we'll see in just a minute. By the end of this video, I think you'll see how well I've utilized the space. We're going to look at it from all angles. I'm going to show you how I access everything from either outside or inside. So I'm going to show you everything. First, we're going to go over on this side. I'm going to show you everything there. We're going to take a look at the back so that you can see kind of um, from that view everything that fits underneath, including all my outdoor living space. and. Then we're going to come back inside and um, revisit the bed itself and see everything from this side that I haven't already shown you. So make sure you stick around till the very end and I hope that you find this just as useful and helpful as I find it for myself. All right, thanks. All right, please disregard the sand. Thank you. I've been hiking and well, in sandy areas. So I have my emergency car kit. I have my collapsible sink and my pantry with my emergency food storage, as well as some extra cups, liquid IV, mostly just ready-made stuff, mountain house meals, things like that. <clears throat> privacy panels for my clan and then behind that is my tailgate tent that I still have yet to use. Paper towels, my toolkit, a hammock, some extra paper plates and collapsible containers and garbage bags that are compostable, extra sheets, is my female urinal, a power strip, then I have an extra dirty clothes container, some bug wipes, toilet paper, steaks for my tent, some Dr. Bronner soap, my that I'm going to use and then just some like extra bungees, carabiners, gel pads, things like that, my thermosel, some air freshener, miscellaneous odds and ends which are in all these little pouches too. I can access this from inside or outside. Now let's go around back. All right, so underneath my fridge, which I raised up so that I could extend my underbed storage, the back is basically my garage where I have all my outdoor stuff. I bring a waterproof outdoor cushion so that I can set it up here on the back and then just sit and look out back. And then I have my clam my outdoor rug, my outdoor table, my outdoor chair, and then all the rest of my um, under the bed storage, which I'm going to show you from the inside. And I'm going to take this out just so you can see how big it all is to kind of help give you an idea of what would actually fit under there. I do think I'm going to lower this because as you can see, I have enough room under there. And I think I would like my fridge to set down a little bit lower, so we'll see. All right, now you can see what it looks like when it's pulled out. So I've got my chair, my rug, my table, and then my clam is the green K-1 
carrying case. <clears throat> So you can see once I've pulled it out, that's the garage storage unit that we were just looking at. And then I have my duffel, my shower bag, and the other stuff that I'm going to show you now. But you can see it just fits nicely right there in that back half of the last half of my undercot and this unit. Okay, and now I'm going to show you underneath. So here's where I keep my Jackery 1000 and you can see that I have the extension cord plugged into the shore power ready to go. Um, again, there's the storage unit, the tent, and then behind that the privacy panels that I already showed you. I keep these under here just while I'm driving and then those will go up here while I'm at camp. And then I have here is my clothes drawer. I'm a little better at this when I have more than one hand. I'm gonna have to close this in a minute. The mosquitoes are coming in. This is where I keep my undergarments, tops, bottoms, and I have enough for about four, at least four, sometimes five days worth of clothing that'll fit in there. I can fit another drawer if I need to. Here's where I have my shower bag. And then there you can see the empty space where all of the outdoor stuff was. And then I have my duffel, which I just have extra towels and sheets and all the stuff that I used to have in my storage ottoman if you saw my van tour video. So as you can see, I definitely still have more space and there's not, there's still some empty space behind the Jackery as well. So I definitely have plenty of storage capacity underneath here. And that pretty much wraps up all of the ways that I utilize my under the bed storage space for my Coleman camp cot. I hope that you found it helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot. And if you're not already, I hope that maybe you'll consider subscribing. That way you won't miss any future videos like this that you might also find helpful regarding camping and traveling in your minivan or vehicle. As always, I wanna thank you so much for taking time out of your day to spend with me and watch my video. It really means a lot to me and I will see you next time.